hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name remains dami as always in today's video i'm going to be addressing some of the questions i've gotten recently and i feel like there are questions that people keep asking me every time like every other week i get one of these questions and the very common one i've said it several times but i'm going to say it again is someone said if i see the comment i'm going to just put it up here i saw one recently and it says what is your experience with snake or what's the story about snakes in australia there is no story about snakes in australia there are lots of snakes here as you've heard or read somewhere but they are not close to where you live they are not living with us i for one have seen snake only once since living in australia and it's going to be four years in about two or three months from now and i've seen snake only once and please bear in mind i did not see it in a residential it was in a residential area but this particular family we visited on the day we saw the snake they live on an acreage and what that means is they have like acres of land and lots of bush surrounding them hence why you we saw the snake at their premises not in their house it was outside in the bush on their premises and if you are living any other like for instance i am from nigeria in nigeria if you go to the bush you will find snake like i've seen lots of snake in my father's house when we were still like developing the compound and things like that so yeah there's no story about snake. People find snakes in wet places in Australia. I remember the other day, was it 9 news or 7 news? They found snake in their studio and things like that. Yes, but it is not a common thing. Snake is not mosquito or butterfly that you see every day when you're walking around. So yeah, like just dead it. I've seen more snakes on Instagram in Australia, on social media in general in Australia, compared to what I have seen living in Australia for three or four years, as we may say. So yeah, snake is not is, is the last thing you should be thinking about if you're thinking of relocating to australia there are snakes but they don't live in your house i hope that addresses that question and put this to the rest no. another question i'm going to address today is do social um workers take kids from people the way they're doing the, like our family our friends that live just close by you know what i mean in the neighboring country is it neighboring it's not neighboring, but you know in the eu yeah that's that country so like do we experience same in australia i'm going to read directly from the law and bear in mind please do your personal research but based on my own research this is what i found and i will try to put the link in the description box because it is actually a nine page um legislation but let me just read what is important to um that you need to know physical punishment by parents it remains lawful for parents in all states and territories to use reasonable remember the word reasonable so there's a thin line between what is reasonable and what is not reasonable reasonable physical punishment is discipline their children a parent's right to use physical punishment is stated in some state and territory legislation e.g new south Wales. while in others it is provided for by common law or judge made law e.g victoria common law helps interpret and more clearly define legislation for example in tasmania legislation states that physical punishment is permitted when it is considered reasonable and judge's decision in common law supporting understanding of what is reasonable is or oh, let's go to queensland i live in queensland right this so this is criminal code act act 9 of 1899 section 280 in queensland it says it is lawful for a parent or a person in the place of a parent or for a school teacher or master to use by way of correction discipline management or control towards a child or puppy under the person's care such force as is reasonable under the circumstances what they're saying is very subjective you have to be careful but you know the experience what the experience in let me just say, in the uk you know the way they take a lot of like a lot of uh, families losing their kids to welfare and things like that it is not very common here but then again please be wise be careful don't even if nobody's even taking your children away from you beating over smacking your kids can become abused and eventually it just makes this shit it hardens them there are many other things you can use as corrective measures for your kids kids these days they love their ipad just once i tell my kids i'm going to see the ipad for one week hey everybody will like they will share normal if you know what that means like they will adjust and do the right thing so there are many other things you can do deprivation too is not something that is accepted so you need to know where to cut the line that's just to just be careful but it is not so much of a big deal here but then again why do you want to beat your kids like correct them but remember there's a tag reasonable so now it's very like it's just based on judgment on what is reasonable but then again yeah i think if i'm addressing your question it's not a big issue over here at the moment 
this might change over time and in the news sometimes ago i've seen there's a debate about it should they become unlawful should, but at the moment as of today based on this legislation i just read which i will link in the description box it is lawful but please read it carefully i read and if you notice i read only what is applicable to queensland at some point so i'll put it in if you're in any other state so that you can read as well another question i got is your kids experience bullying and racism in school i won't say they do i won't say they don't but what i'll say is each child's personality is different and their experience is different but i can say they've had a nice time settling into school in australia and to date they're happy to be here so that's just what i'll say I'll link the video i did with my song where he shared his own personal experience you know it's easier if you're listening to the the child who experienced some of those things so i will link that video up i had my kid come on this channel and talk about their experience moving to australia and what it has been like settling in school i will link that video here but there is nothing crazy out of control that has happened since they started going to school here bullying racism i don't know but yeah they've been good that's just what is that important one. for me um the other question is where do you buy food stuff somebody's asking where do you buy pomo somebody's asking where do you buy this where do you buy that i know of only queensland oh god and i actually knew melbourne because i put it on instagram sometimes and someone responded to me but for queensland where do i buy my african fruit stuff i buy from inala if i'm not buying from inala i buy from african markets cooper's plains i can put these two addresses in the comment section as well if you want please if i forget please just drop me comments promise i will put all the details there but yeah i buy from inala there's a um there's a nigerian woman at inala market that sells nigerian food stuff so yeah you can always check her out at inala or african market there's a Ghanaian woman the name of her store is african market she's at cooper's plains you can always buy your nigerian food stuff from her as well and they both sell pomo <laughs> i don't know why pomo is the order of the day everybody's looking for pomo everywhere but yeah they both sell pomo so you can check out for pomo and the woman that's cooper's plains recently she had had yam several times when i went there so you can check out our store for yeah and finally someone asks where to live i cannot advise you on where to live that's a very subjective question again you have to look for what works for you so let me give you an example of what we did and how our own journey so that maybe it will help in any way when we we're coming to australia we did not know goddamn person in brisbane we did not know we didn't know anybody i had my brother who lived in melbourne but he had no experience of brisbane he didn't know anybody as well so we're coming to this land not knowing anybody and i started my journey by going to naira land trying to find someone if i know someone or you know just reaching out to people and luckily i found someone who was working with another audit firm and he had just arrived maybe two months before we came in so he was like i think that was a person we started chatting i'm like hey how are you doing how have you guys settled in it's been two months so bear in mind they barely found their own food talkless of helping me so but she told me oh and then i think at the point i was still in my inter during it so this was still during my interview process right and one of the interviewers had told me cost of childcare is very expensive you might want to research and be sure that this salary they are offering you can cover you know two kids and things like that so it was in the process of my research i found this other family who came before us and then she told me and then i think my specific question on Ira land then was um what's child care like how are you coping and things like that and then she was like oh there's this woman that lives at um ilawena i think yeah that was where she used to live she's no more there she lives at ilawena i can give you her address this is what she charged this is everything and that was how we made that um first contact immediately she advised we reach out to the woman the woman said of course she can take our kids in once we arrive in australia we should reach out to her so what did we do we started searching for house around where she lived because that was like ch child care is one thing we really need right so we started looking for houses close to where she lived and that was how we got our first accommodation and that was where we lived for about three years before we eventually moved so when you're coming in you need to understand that you need somewhere either close to work either close to child care if you have kids like but nobody can advise you where to live but one thing i know is that a lot of black africans live in the south side brisbane so this is brisbane specific we live in the south side there, there is the north side which i don't think a lot of people like us are 
there are few but even those in Allah Cooper Spain, you know the supermarket I told you that they sell African food stuff they are both in the south so I don't know if that will help you in any way and I hope it does but yeah that's all I can say I can't really say oh live here don't live here you know that kind of thing is very subjective and you need to make that call yourself that's everything I'm going to be talking about today as always please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up give this video some love like thumbs up share with your friends who this will if you know any of your friends that have moved to brisbane recently or australia i think any of these questions will help them please share with them i will really appreciate you know those are the things that gives me happiness and morale like gingers my morale to film the next video but anyway that's about it for today thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye